Basically, the goal of our project is to create better batteries. We're working on a novel design using DNA nanowires um, in order to create a robust DNA nanogel, which will allow us to create a thin, flexible, portable, rechargeable battery. And this can be used in the field for soldiers. As you can use it on drones, you can make the actual parts of the plane out of this battery. And so that's kind of what we're working for, and that's where all our research is going. Testing for any sort of battery requires a lot of time uh, to fully cycle it, which essentially means that we run the, we draw power from the battery until it essentially reaches empty. Then we recharge it, and then we do it again. People have done similar projects, such as what uh, Cadet Lowell worked on at MIT, but they used viruses, and they've also used different kinds of DNA aspects, but we're the first ones to try to make these kind of DNA nanowires, which we think is kind of unique and one of the problems that we face, you know, being kind of the frontier of this. Yeah, I think it would, it would be nice to, you know, be recognized um, for the work that we've done over the past two years on this project, and um, once we actually get to MIT, I think it would be really exciting to know that um, the work that we put together was both very academically rigorous, but also beneficial to the soldier in the field, and it would be really exciting to be recognized for that. What you see here is um, our seminar class for the first team in the Human Factors Engineering Program and in Engineering Psych at DSNL. So what we're doing in this sim class is leveraging them and teaching the cadets how to build artificial intelligence agents in a game situation. And so what we're asking the cadets to do is to build um, conversations with characters they might meet in, uh, in a deployment. Um, they've learned various types of activities in, in sort of communications in the English department, of course, in our comm site. So they're kind of rolling all of this up to make a training um, scenario where a unit has been hit by an IED, and what they have to do is go out and figure out who perpetrated this in terms of pulling the trigger and who set, the, set up the IED. So what we're doing today is we're here testing our airbag system that we've designed uh, for the AFRL competition. Today was mainly just to work out some kinks and lift, lift heavier vehicles than what we had. Originally we had lifted a Humvee and that's heaviest we'd gone. And so now we have this LMTV and trying to lift that. One of the biggest complications that we've come up with is the, the height of the vehicle off the ground. And we've got to compensate for that to actually get the airbag to lift to 20 inches. So if you have them strapped to the floor on the top, you have red straps on there too. So you're going to be like eight points of contact. That's the thing. Like, as soon as you pick the weight up off the tires, it wants to start building. It wants to start you know, balancing it out and finding the equilibrium. And then with that, we've seen a lot of shifting in the vehicle as we're lifting. So right now we're trying to figure out how to compensate for all that. 